Oh well, this is part two, and let's just get right into it. If you haven't seen part one, I basically went over WrestleMania matches and what I believe was the best on each card. Continuing on WrestleMania 17, Triple H vs. Undertaker basically was the match of the night. I don't like Triple H, to be honest. I've never liked I never liked his style of wrestling. I just I maybe just because being a being a fan of the Attitude Era, I just never liked it. Never liked him because he was always the biggest heel of the end. He was the biggest heel after you know Taker left for a while and the Ministry of Darkness broke up. He was one of pretty much the biggest heel. I'm gonna blast a little bit of disturbed here. Not really blast. It's late. So basically, with that being said. Triple H vs. Triple H vs. Undertaker, good match, as far as as that's being said. Well, we're gonna go into WrestleMania 18, and I didn't care for this WrestleMania that much, but if I have to go with the match that stole, that pretty much that was uh, not even considered or no one even cared about, I'm gonna go with Triple H vs. Chris Jericho, just because. You know, it was supposed to be the world title match. It was the main event. People were even, I mean, WWE was even thinking about moving The Rock and Austin. Oh, damn it, I did it again. Rock and Hogan to the main event. You know, I don't like when pay-per-views do this. If your world title match, it should be the main event. Uh, TNA did this with Genesis when they had the world title match, Sting versus Abyss. And then Kurt Angle vs. Samoa Joe. Kurt Angle vs. Samoa Joe was the main event, even though there was no title on the line. I have, I've always hated when when main of, when pay per views do that. But anyways, I'm gonna go with that. Then WrestleMania 19, which is probably my second favorite WrestleMania. Good matches on this card all around. Stone Cold vs. The Rock. You had Chris Jericho vs. Shawn Michaels. You had and that was a great match too. Then you had Kurt Angle vs. Brock Lesnar, Triple H vs. Booker T. That match, I hated that one. Just because it was Triple H bearing Booker T. What are you gonna do? Matt Hardy vs. Rey Mysterio to open the thing up. That was great too. I've seen this pay per view a couple times, so as far as uh, that's being concerned, you know, I'm gonna go with the main event for the WWE Championship. This WWE Championship. My favorite belt. Yeah, I like this one better than the Eagle belt. This is J... I call this the JBL title. Or the Undisputed title. I know, it's a toy belt, but, you know, it's a cool looking belt. Picked up for like 10 bucks. <laughs> so, this is where pretty much it started the undisputed era of the WWE Championship. And it was nice to see SmackDown get a main event. Because even for the first split up pay per view between brands and their championships, to see SmackDown actually host the main event, that was awesome. And Angle and Lesnar at delivered. Angle. Great in ring wrestler. I think he's probably one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest in ring wrestler of the WWE at least or WWE history. I even think he's better than Bret Hart. I know a lot of people say Bret Hart's better just because they mark they mark out to a lot. That's all right. You can mark out to Bret Hart because he was he is one of the greatest, if not the greatest. But like I said, I like Kurt Angle better just because. I think he's he's better on the mic. He's better. I think he's a better wrestler. The way he can, he can he's a lot faster than Hart. So of course he is smaller than him. So keep that in mind. And that's probably a dream match. It'll probably never happen, but maybe one day, Kurt Angle will go back to WWE. But Hart might show up for WrestleMania and they'll have his little promo. It'd be pretty cool if it did happen. But you know, Bret Hart's not coming back. Then WrestleMania 20. This was a this was a pretty good WrestleMania. At least the two main events were. You had uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle, which was a great match. 
It's just too bad Kurt didn't win, but you know what? It was Guerrero's time as champion, so I can I can handle that. Never never really been a big Guerrero fan to be honest. Then then you had Triple H, Chris Benoit, and Shawn Michaels for the main for the main event World Heavyweight Championship. Great match too. Probably, I'm going to pick that one as my favorite match out of all of them. Just because it was just... See Triple H tap out at WrestleMania? Just basically tapping. And Benoit wins the title. It's just too bad he didn't have a long title run. He did have, he did have the title all the way to SummerSlam, but keep, keep that in mind. It wasn't that long. They were testing it to see if he'd sell as a champion. And he, he did alright. Then WrestleMania 21. And yeah, this WrestleMania wasn't that good. Uh, this is when WrestleMania started going down, but this is probably the last WrestleMania that was decent. Consider WrestleMania 22 and 23, I thought, pretty bad. For WrestleMania, at least. They're were, they were good pay-per-views, but not, not worth 50 bucks. Angle... I'm going to go with Angle versus Shawn Michaels on this, because pretty much the two matches after that, were, who cared? Uh, Batista versus Triple H, that was okay. Cena versus JBL, garbage. Bad match. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's basically your typical John Cena match. And this was, this is not John Cena's, this was not John Cena's style when he first started, until he got to the main event status. When he was in the mid card level, he pretty much just kicked the crap out of his opponents. If you guys remember, especially remember him with Car his feud with Carlito. So keep that in mind. And then all of a sudden he gets pushed up to the main event, and it, they made it look like he wasn't ready yet. And how that match with JBL it just sucked. I mean, it was cool to see Cena get his ass kicked. Cause I am a JBL fan. I like I like him because he's he's great on the mic. One of at least he was the best that year on the mic, in 2004. But, it, this match just, you know, something should, you know, did JBL have to lose the title to Cena out of all the guys? Cena? And Cena wasn't even credible at the time, he wasn't really built up right. And then, because you know WWE likes to shove guys down their throat, and he shoved, they shoved him right down our throat. I hate it. I didn't like it. So I'm going to go with Angle versus Shawn Michaels on this. If you, this, this pay-per-view, actually this DVD, if you're going to, if you have a chance to get the DVD, pick it up for this match. This match is great. You have, I'm just speechless because I've seen this match about five, six times. It's actually posted on YouTube too, so you guys can check it out there. You know what to type in to find it. It took forever, but it's on there, and it's in decent quality. So, check it out and tell me what you guys think, because this was, I thought this was a great, this was a, a really good match, as far as delivering. These two guys worked their asses off, and it was just too bad it wasn't for a title. You know, that JBL and Cena match, it was supposed to be the second best match of the night, and it was probably the worst match of the night, next to... Big Show and Aki Bono, but who cared about that one? That wasn't really a match, it was a sumo wrestling match. But what they should have done is somehow got Angle the title, or Michaels the title, had an interpromotional match, boom, there's your main event at WrestleMania. And are you telling me, I, I know there was people saying that you couldn't replace Cena and Cena with any other guy? Well, it's like, are you telling me that Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle could not put butts in the seats for a WrestleMania main event. You gotta be, you guys got, some of you guys gotta be out of your mind. And I, I did hear that on a video, which I'm not gonna name. WrestleMania 22. This is, this wasn't a very good WrestleMania. I mean, the two main events were okay, but like I said, I couldn't believe, tri couldn't see Triple H tapping out again, especially to a guy like. John Cena. John Cena's not even a submission guy. So, I'm going to continue on WrestleMania 22 and 23. Stay tuned for part 3. I promise it won't be that long.